Hello, this is David Diga Hernandez, and I want to join my faith with yours to believe for your miracle, for your healing. We know that Jesus, the Son of the living God, is able to do above and beyond what we could ever imagine. And I want to encourage you to know that whatever the sickness, disease, or pain that you face, God is able. All things are possible. Only believe. There is healing in his presence, and surely the presence of the Lord abides with you even now. He's looking at you right now. He's listening to you in this very moment. He is attentive to you. He is near. He dwells with you. So, with the eyes of faith, I want you to see him standing before you now. He's in the room with you. Healing virtue proceeds from the very depths of his spirit. Carried upon his love for you, that same power which rested upon the master, that life-giving resurrection power of God flows to you. Look to Jesus now. Forget about your sickness. Forget about whatever troubles your mind. Cast your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Focus your mind on the Lord himself. See his eyes of fire, filled with passion and love for you. See his face shining brighter than the sun. Hear his voice, which rumbles like many waters. He stretches out his hand to you, and he will not turn you away. Now, receive your miracle as you meditate upon his word. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26 says, if thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and wilt give ear to his commandments, and will keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. He is healer, and Jesus himself has kept that standard so you can claim the promise of healing, for he is the Lord who heals you. Psalm chapter 103, verses 1 through 5 say, Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 1 through 5 say, Who has believed our message? To whom has the Lord revealed his powerful arm? My servant grew up in the Lord's presence like a tender green shoot like a root in dry ground. There was nothing beautiful or majestic about his appearance, nothing to attract us to him. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows acquainted with deepest grief. We turned our backs on him and looked the other way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weaknesses he carried. It was our sorrows that weighed him down. And we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment for his own sins. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. By his stripes, you are healed. Healing is for you. Malachi chapter 4 verse 2 says, But for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will rise with healing in his wings, and you will go free, leaping with joy like calves led out to pasture. He is willing to make you whole. Matthew chapter 8 verses 1 through 3 say, Large crowds followed Jesus as he came down the mountainside. Suddenly, 
a man with leprosy approached him and knelt before him. Lord, the man said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said. Be healed. And instantly, the leprosy disappeared. It didn't matter what the sickness was. Jesus healed them all. Matthew chapter 4, verse 23 says, Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee, teaching in the synagogues and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. Matthew chapter 9, verse 35 says, Jesus traveled through all the towns and villages of that area, teaching in the synagogue, and announcing the good news about the kingdom. And he healed every kind of disease and illness. I want you to be encouraged to know that he sees you. Jesus sees you. And he has compassion for you. Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 and 14 say, As soon as Jesus heard the news, he left in a boat to a remote area to be alone. But the crowds heard where he was headed and followed on foot from many towns. Verse 14, Jesus saw the huge crowd as he stepped from the boat, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. Now what's interesting about that portion of scripture is this. The news that Jesus heard was about the death of John the Baptist. And here, in the middle of his grieving, in the middle of his sorrow, in the middle of his pain, he looked out and he saw the crowds and his compassion rose within him. And he was moved with that compassion and he healed those who were sick. And all it takes is one touch, just one touch from the hand of Jesus and you'll be made completely whole. If you've suffered for years with a sickness or disease, if you've suffered for years with pain, just know that all your years of suffering can come to an end with just one touch from the hand of Jesus. One moment, one instant, and you can be made whole. Matthew chapter 14, verse 36 says, They begged him to let the sick touch at least the fringe of his robe, and all who touched him were healed. All you need is faith, your faith in his power, your faith in who he is will make you whole. Mark chapter five, verse 34, which is talking about the woman with the issue of blood says this, and he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well, go in peace, your suffering is over. In Mark chapter 10, verse 52, Jesus heals a blind man and tells him the same thing. And Jesus said to him, Go, for your faith has healed you. Instantly, the man could see, and he followed Jesus down the road. Often we wonder, can God truly make me whole? Is my sickness, is my pain, is my disease too much for his power to handle? Well, in Mark chapter 9, verses 20 through 23, we see a desperate father coming to Jesus begging for the healing of his son who was possessed by demonic beings. Mark chapter 9 verse 20 says, So they brought the boy, but when the evil spirit saw Jesus, it threw the child into a violent convulsion, and he fell to the ground, writhing and foaming at the mouth. Verse 21, How long has this been happening? Jesus asked the boy's father. He replied, Since he was a little boy. Verse 22, the spirit often throws him into the fire or into water, trying to kill him. Have mercy on us and help us if you can. And in verse 23, I love what Jesus says. What do you mean, if I can, Jesus asked. Anything is possible if a person believes. My friend, listen to me. Nothing is impossible with God. He healed them all. In Luke chapter 6, verse 19, the scripture says, Everyone tried to touch him because healing power went out from him. 
and he healed everyone. Do we imagine that the Lord has changed? Do we imagine that he no longer heals them all? Of course he does. He's still doing the same to this day. Acts chapter 10 verse 38 says, And you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him, and he has not changed. I want you to see the Lord now. Close your eyes, lift your hands, and think on his word. See him with the eyes of faith. Ask him, Jesus, please heal me. He's the same Jesus who walked the shores of Galilee. See him. He walks the shores of the ancient sea of Galilee. The authority of heaven rests upon his shoulders. A heavenly glow emanates from his being. The sick come to him. The lame approach him, and every single one of them is healed. Every single one. There's a fire in his eyes. They're piercing. Within them you can see the beauty of the glory of God and his overwhelming love for you, both power and compassion. His hair and his face shine bright like the sun. There's a surging current of power pulsing up and down his being. It's his healing virtue. He's surrounded by a host of angels who sing his praise in one mighty chorus. Just the nearness of his presence causes the ground to shake. He is the Ancient of Days. He is the Resurrection and the Life. He is Jesus, and He is here. Reach out to Him. He didn't turn them away. He won't turn you away. He isn't turning you away. Thank you, glorious Jesus, for your healing presence. Father, by faith now, I stir up the gift you placed upon my life, and I join my faith with that one believing for a miracle. In the name of Jesus, the Son of God, I command every cell in every body to conform to the will of God. I rebuke sickness and disease. I take authority over the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, I command bones to heal and to be set straight. I speak to the nervous system, to the digestive system, to the immune system. Conform to the word of God. Let the will of God be done in earth as it is in heaven. I rebuke arthritis. Paralysis be healed in the name of Jesus. Cancer be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood disorder be healed in the name of Jesus. Pain go. Abnormalities go. Tumors and growths shrink and be gone. Skin disorders go. I speak by faith that your skin will begin to clear up right this very moment. Deaf ears be opened, blind eyes be opened. Believer, you don't need me to call out your healing in order to receive it. It just takes one touch from the hand of Jesus to make you whole. I don't need to know your sickness because Jesus already knows your sickness. He sees you now. He hears you now. Reach out to him and receive your miracle. Only believe. All things are possible. Come out of that sickness by faith. Lord, we thank you for the flow of your healing virtue. And I'm feeling that healing virtue right now. We agree that your word is true. Let healing flow in the name above all names. 
in the name of Jesus.